Hello. Hello. My name is Adam Smith. Many congratulations on the award. Thank you. You are, of course, a cosmologist, but I suppose you're also an explorer, an explorer of the universe. Does it feel as if you're an explorer with your mind? Oh, yes. We think, we ask ourselves questions. Some of us start computing, others start measuring. It is an exploration, of course, um, very different from exploring far reaches of the Earth, but uh, we explore in so many ways. You mentioned that interplay between observation and theory. That is very important, isn't it? It certainly is. We must always bear that in mind. Um, it's so easy, well, I, I will make a small sermon. It is so easy for us theorists to uh, build wonderful castles, beautiful ideas. Sometimes, uh, it is remarkable, sometimes these beautiful ideas prove to be close to what the observations tell us. But often, also, they turn out to be wrong. No great surprise, but time, time, time will tell, and uh, time, uh, it is the measurements that tell us. Of course, we must bear in mind that measurements of those theory are equally empty. It's stamp collecting. It's a great joint enterprise. It, that is the whole point. And of course, um, you've been instrumental, as the committee said, in, in um, changing cosmology from, as in their words, speculation to science. One of the results has been your discovery that um, we don't know what ma most of the universe is made of. M yes. May I ask, would you hazard a guess as to when, how, or in indeed if we'll know what it is made of? One of the wonderful things about this exploration is that, of course, we don't know what we will see. And uh, it is true here. I hope that uh, we will be surprised by what is found to be the nature of the dark matter. Uh, it might be something that has already been considered seriously. Um, if so, the demonstration will be a detection, perhaps in the laboratory, there are remarkably sensitive experiments now hoping to detect the interaction of dark matter with ordinary matter. It might be through its annihilation that releases energy that can be detected as radiation. Uh, but um, my romantic dream, I guess I am romantic about such things, my romantic dream is it will be surprised yet once again. I'm hoping that will be the case. And so I cannot tell you at all how it will be discovered that uh, we know what the dark matter is. It will have appear. That was beautifully said. Uh, yes, and I, I like the idea that we, one doesn't know where one needs to look. It's, it could be in the laboratory, it could be out in space. One just has to keep looking. That is very appropriate. You don't know where to look. Um, it means that these beautiful experiments to detect dark matter must decide on a direction and then work exceedingly hard over many years to explore in that direction. It takes a tough mind to do that because you consider that they might be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> I, I mean that in no way to be, to be a negative statement. I deeply admire the people who are doing these experiments to, to, to detect one way or another, to detect the dark matter. But they know, and they are resigned to the fact that they don't know where to look. So they choose a direction, you make that tough decision, and you work hard at it. Do you ever find it overwhelming, all this mystery? Well, no, no. Um, overwhelming, no, no, that, 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 that has never come to my mind. Um, wonderful, yes. Fascinating, yes. Uh, eager to know more. Absolutely. I so much look forward to speaking more when you come to Stockholm in December. It's a very exciting news. <laughs> it is indeed. We, we are excited. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. It, it was a huge pleasure speaking to you, and we look forward to meeting you uh, in December. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye.